It's my great pleasure to join the governor today in announcing one of the most important economic development projects in many decades in the entire mid-Atlantic region. The, what we are calling the Atlantic Coast Pipeline is an energy superhighway, as the governor mentioned, that will help Virginia, North Carolina, and West Virginia take advantage of our nation's increasingly abundant supply of clean, affordable natural gas. In each century of America's history, we have seen a handful of key infrastructure developments leading to new opportunities and prosperity. In the 19th century, we had railroads, the steam engine, and the beginning of steel manufacturing. In the 20th century, we had the automobile assembly line, the internet, and from my perspective, most important of all, the electric grid. In the 21st century, the expansion of our natural gas pipeline network looks to be one of those key infrastructure developments. Being able to transport the nation's ample, low-cost supplies of natural gas is critical to manufacturing, power generation, and home heating. It also can potentially transform our transportation sector, and it definitely improves the environment. To capitalize on these important advantages, Dominion has formed a joint venture with our friends at Duke Energy, Piedmont Natural Gas, and AGL Resources, the parent company of Virginia Natural Gas, to invest up to $5 billion to construct a state-of-the-art natural gas pipeline serving Virginia, North Carolina, and West Virginia. The project will be managed and operated by Dominion Transmission, the interstate natural gas pipeline subsidiary of Dominion Resources. This project formerly was called the Southeast Reliability Project when, we first, when Dominion first proposed it. The pipeline will address a serious shortage of natural gas infrastructure in the region, which became critical last winter. You will recall when we were visited by the polar vortex. Extremely cold weather caused natural gas prices in the region to spike to more than $100 per thousand cubic feet, while at the wellhead, you could get it for $5. There was abundant supply of natural gas. The problem was there was not enough pipeline capacity in the region to get it to the factories, homes, and power stations. Our project will alleviate that problem. The existing pipeline infrastructure was designed for the 20th century. It was originally built to bring gas north and east from the Gulf of Mexico. We have now discovered enormous amounts of natural gas in Ohio, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania. The Atlantic Coast Pro Pipeline Project will help the Mid-Atlantic region access those new supplies. What this ultimately means for co consumers, as the governor said, Consumers, businesses, is more stable electric prices, more stable heating costs, and more stable costs of operations. For the broader economy, it means increased opportunity to bring new manufacturing to the region. Without adequate energy infrastructure, we have little hope in recruiting manufacturers who are moving their operations back to the United States to have access to that low-cost, abundant natural gas. For the environment, it means replacing older, less efficient power stations throughout the region with cleaner, burning natural gas fired power stations, like the ones that Dominion is building in Virginia right now in Warren County and Brunswick County. Each of those stations will generate enough clean, reliable power to, to serve 325,000 homes around the clock. The benefits of the project of the Commonwealth are clear. Thousands of construction jobs, $5 billion in privately funded capital investment cleaner air throughout the region, more stable electricity and home heating prices, and significant opportunities to recruit manufacturing the region. Now, as I conclude, there are three commitments I want to make uh, about this project. First, we will work closely with landowners and other stakeholders to find the best possible route, one that minimizes the impact on natural, cultural, and historic resources, but still meets our operational needs. Second, we will work closely with state and local leaders as we move through the very rigorous federal permitting process. You can be assured that every issue from water resources to impact on wildlife will get very careful consideration. Third and most important, we will never compromise on our company's most important value, which those the Dominion folks here can tell you is safety. At Dominion, it is always top of our minds. It will be our overriding priority on this project as we work to bring a wide range of economic and environmental benefits to our state. 